All right, this is going to be a little bit of a different video as usual. Today I'm going to be talking about lyrics in music because there are people that are like, well, I don't believe in Christianity. I think it's just it's a made up religion or whatever. Um, I don't believe in the devil. I don't believe in the rapture. I don't believe in tribulation. None of that stuff. They're just oblivious, oblivious to everything that's going on. And I'm going to share some lyrics that tell you that there is a, there is a battle going on right now. And whenever you say that, people are like, oh, you're talking about World War III and all this stuff? I'm talking about in heaven, there is a battle for your soul right now. There's a battle for your mind. And it's going on right now in heaven. And I'm going to show it to you in some of the lyrics of some of the most famous songs. And But in order for me to do that, I got to share a concept with you. So this will make more sense. So let's see. I haven't uh, done this type of presentation before, so bear with me. I'm just putting my thoughts together here. So when it comes to music, eternal music, if you will, there are basically three, perhaps four core subjects to talk about. And if you talk about these four core subjects, you're going to make it big in the industry. One is the Garden of Eden. Talk about the Garden of Eden. You're, you will almost guaranteed you will be a millionaire overnight. Now you have to translate some stuff. You can't just say Garden of Eden. Uh, another, another topic that will make you popular is if you talk about fall from heaven. Talk about that in your lyrics, in any song that you have, you're going to be successful when it comes to music. Why? Because you're making a contract with the devil that used to be the worship leader in heaven. Another thing is if you talk about Uh, let me erase this for a sec. If you talk about the serpent, <clears throat> serpent and Eve. And then that's almost very similar to the Garden of Eden. But you can also talk about um, how would I word this? This is probably the dead. The dead. And you could almost put hopelessness, whatever it is. But if you talk about the dead, talk about fall from heaven, you talk about the serpent and Eve or the Garden of Eden. Uh, what else? Those are the big ones. Those are the big ones. Another one could be almost, let me just erase this. We'll, we'll tie in the serpent with the Garden of Eden. Could be Adam. Could be Adam and Eve, Garden of Eden, um, the serpent. But another category is, um, that's fall from heaven, but also rebellion. Rebellion. That doesn't sound right. 
clean. I'm horrible at spelling. Well, that's right, I guess. It's weird. I thought it's supposed to be a two L's. Yeah. It's with two L's. That's why. All right. Dun, dun. Rebellion. Rebellion from heaven or from God himself. From, wow. We'll keep it, yeah, from God, rebellion from God. Anything to do with God would be rebellion. So I think that covers quite a bit. The dead, fall from heaven, Garden of Eden, rebellion from God. They're kind of very similar. But if you, even if you did this in movies, if you talk about a separation from heaven, man from heaven, um, Angels coming down from heaven, taking out man, killing man, all this kind of stuff. I should really put angels, I guess, rebellion from fall from heaven. This could almost really be fallen angels, if you will. And if you stick to these categories, your movies will be successful as well. Fallen angels. So I'm going to share some lyrics with you. So that you can get a snapshot of what I am talking about. So Garden of Eden, Rebellion, From God, Fall from Heaven, Angels, The Dead. If you have these topics, you're not only going to be the top of the billboard, but you're going to be very rich. Very, very rich. And you could possibly die a horrible death. Why? Because in order to do that, you need to sign a deal with the devil. <clears throat> all right same thing with actors too all right so let's go into lyrics and i go to this site genius so because halloween's coming up let's just read read uh the lyrics from thriller this is michael jackson's song of course thriller so let's go up to the top let's read a little bit about it Thriller, known for having what is arguably the most significant music video and dance moves in pop culture, is the seventh, seventh and final single from Michael Jackson's Thriller album. The original name for Thriller, composed by songwriter Rod Temperton, Temp yeah, Temperton was Starlight. Starlight is what the, the album was going to be called. This is interesting. Look at this. Let me unshift this here. I have this thriller album unopened. It's probably worth nothing because there were so many albums sold with Michael Jackson that basically it's almost worthless because everybody has one. So his songs are called Want to Be Starting Something, Baby Be Mine. The Girl is Mine, talking about Adam and Eve, the Garden of Eden, with Paul McCartney. It's interesting that, that Michael Jackson stole all of the Beatles music. Thriller, Beat It, Billie Jean, Human Nature, Pretty Young Thing, The Lady in My Life, all centered around Eve. Highest grossing album ever, talking about Eve. That should cause you to go crazy all right so original name was starlight originally when i did my thriller demo i called it oh wait hang on here let's back up starlight was changed to thriller and the lyrics were rewritten shortly before re-recording rod had originally offered the song to his band heat wave but they turned it down originally Originally, 
when I did my thriller demo, I called it Starlight, Quincy said to me, Quincy Jones. You managed to come up with a little with a title for the last album. See what you could do with this album, I said. Oh, great. So I'm back to the hotel, wrote two or two or three hundred titles and came up with the title Midnight Man. Interesting, right? The next morning I woke up and I just said this word. Something in my head just said, this is the title. You could visualize it on the top of the billboard charts. You could see the merchandising for this one word, how it jumped off the page as thriller. Thriller. Thriller was another international hit, topping pop charts in Belgium, France, Portugal, and Spain, while peaking at number four on the U.S. Billboard Hot 103 on the R&B chart. The single is certified diamond in the U.S. with more than 10 million sales and has also achieved multi-platinum status in Australia and Mexico. The trailblazing music video for Thriller was named by MTV as the greatest music video ever made, and it was inducted into the Library Congress National Film Registry in 2009. Thriller is a song most strongly associated with the holiday of Halloween and often re-enters the Hot 100 every year due to the holiday season. It is one of only two songs to chart every year because of a holiday. The other one being Mar Mariah Carey's All I Want for Christmas is You. Interesting. I could probably read her lyrics for that song, All I Want for Christmas is You, and it's probably going to be talking about Adam, I mean Eve and the serpent. Let's just go and for the sake of argument and let's see what comes up. Can I find it? Yes. Okay, just a guess. I've never read the lyrics. I'm just guessing it's going to be about the serpent and Eve. All I want for Christmas is you. All I want, I don't want a lot for Christmas. There's just one thing I need. I don't care about presents under the Christmas tree. I just want you for my own. More than you can ever know. Make my wish come true. All I want for Christmas is you. Yeah. I don't want a lot for Christmas. One thing I need. Don't care about presents. Don't need my stocking. Hang my stocking up there in the fireplace. Santa Claus won't make me happy with a toy on Christmas Day. I just want you for my own more than you can ever make my wish come true. All I want for Christmas is you, baby. Oh, I won't ask for too much. I won't even wish for snow. I'm just going to keep on waiting under the mistletoe. I won't make a list and send it to the North Pole for St. Nick. I won't even stay awake to hear those magic reindeer, reindeer click. Interesting about the concept of when we're talking about the rapture and the pre-tribulation and all this stuff, that we Christians are encouraged to stay awake and keep watch. Why? Because the Lord's appearing. Could be any day. And here in this song, it's, I don't even want to stay awake to hear those magic reindeer click. I just want you here tonight, holding on to me so tight. What more can I do? Oh, baby, all I want for Christmas is you. All the lights are shining so brightly everywhere, and the sound of children's laughter fills the air, and everyone is singing. I hear those sleigh bells ringing. Santa, won't you bring me the one I only really need? Won't you pre please bring my baby to me? Uh, yeah, and it goes on and on. So clearly talking about she wants the devil. That's all that is. That's all that means. She is seduced by the devil and that's all she can, can think about that's all she wants all right so let's go to uh yeah let's go to thriller i wanted to show you thriller real quick here hang on here where is it let me stop share for a sec let me find it real quick so i want to show you i think this is important Let me go back. Okay. Let me go back. Let me go here. Yeah. Let me share the screen. <clears throat> back to Thriller. 
It's close to midnight and something evil's lurking in the dark under the moonlight. You see a light that almost stops your heart. You try to scream, but terror takes to the sound before you make it. You start to freeze as horror looks you right between the eyes. You're paralyzed. This is the tribulation. This is what's going to happen during the tribulation. Because this is thriller night. Thriller night and no one's going to save you from the beast about to strike. You know, it's thriller, thriller night. You're fighting for your life inside a killer thriller tonight. Oh, and you hear the door slam and realize there's nowhere left to run. That is, you heard the door slam like thunder, like lightning. The rapture just happened and the doors closed. You are not getting raptured. This is Michael Jackson being influenced by the devil himself. He knows there's a rapture coming. He just doesn't know when. So he... Showed this to Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson wrote the song and everybody bought the records, bought the song. One of the greatest music videos ever. You hear the door slam and realize there's nowhere left to run. You feel the cold hand and wonder if you'll ever see the sun. Jesus Christ. You close your eyes and hope this is just imagination, girl. But all the while you hear the creature creeping up behind. You're out of time. The devil knows he's out of time. Because this is Thriller, Thriller Night. There ain't no second chance against the thing with 40 eyes. Girl, which is interesting. Thriller, Thriller Night. You're fighting for your life inside a killer thriller tonight. <clears throat> Bad news everywhere. Night creatures call and the dead start to walk in their masquerade. There's no escaping the jaws of the alien this time. They're wide open. This is the end of your life. Ooh. Don't get me wrong. I like Michael Jackson. I like his music. But when you deep do a deep dive into the lyrics, they're bad. No wonder they're catchy. They're out to get you. There's demons closing in on every side. They will possess you unless you change that number on your dial. As in you get saved. If you get saved, you got to change that number. What's the number? The number of the beast. Avoid the mark of the beast. Otherwise, the demons will get you. For now is the time for you and I to cuddle close together. Again, another talking about Adam, Eve, and the devil. All through the night, I'll save you from the terror on the screen. So media outlets are going to be showcasing all the trauma that's going on in the world. And you're not going to want to leave your home unless you take the mark of the beast. I'll save you from the tear on the screen. I'll make you see that this is Thriller, Thriller Night because I could thrill you more than any goal would ever dare to try. Thriller, old Thriller Night. So let me hold you tight and share a killer, Thriller, Chiller, Thriller here tonight because this is Thriller. Girl, I could thrill you more than any goal, ghoul would ever dare to try. Again, the devil. I'm going to thrill you tonight. Darkness falls across the land. The midnight hour is close at hand. Creatures crawl in search of blood to terrorize y'all's neighborhood. I'm going to thrill you tonight. And whoever shall be found without the soul for getting down must stand and face the hounds of hell. So if you don't have the mark of the beast, you're going to face this. And rot inside a corpse's shell. I'm going to thrill you tonight. I'm going to thrill you, thrill you, going to thrill you, follow the stenches in the air, the funky 40,000 years, and grisly goals from every tune are closing to seal your doom, and though you fight to stay alive, your body starts to shiver, for no mortal can resist the evil of the thriller. Crazy, right? That's Michael Jackson, man. Led Zeppelin, Stairway to Heaven. There's a lady who's sure that all glitters is gold. She's buying a stairway to heaven, meaning Eve wanted the from the wanted to partake of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. She wanted knowledge. The devil said, "You will not surely die if you do this thing." When she gets there, she knows if the stores are all closed with the words, she can get what she came for. Ooh, ooh, almost like Michael Jackson's lyrics. Ooh. And she's buying a stairway to heaven. There's a sign on the wall, but she wants to be sure because you know sometimes words have two meanings. In a tree by the brook, there's a songbird who sings. Sometimes all of our thoughts are misgiven. Ooh, it makes me wonder, makes me wonder. There's a feeling when I get 
I look to the west and my spirit is crying for leaving. In my thoughts, I've seen rings of smoke through the trees and the voices of those who stand looking. Oh, makes me wonder, makes me wonder. And it's whispered that soon if we call the tune, the piper will lead us to reason. The tree of knowledge of good and evil. This piper is the devil. And a new day will dawn for those who stand long and forests will echo with laughter. Who are the forests? Those are the trees in Eden. Angels. Most likely fallen angels. If there's a bustle in your hedge, go. Don't be alarmed now. It's just a spring clean for the May Queen. Yes, there are two paths you can go by. But in the long run, there's still time to change the road you're on. As in, go down the road of unrighteousness. The road that le leads to hell. Makes me wonder a while. Your timing is humming. Won't go. And it won't go. In case you don't know, the piper's calling you to join him. Dear lady, can you hear the wind blow? And did you know your stairway lies on the whispering wind? Anyways, goes on and on talking about Eve. Katy Perry, alien. E.T., you're so hypnotizing. You could be the devil. You could be an angel. Your touch magnetizing, feeling like I'm floating, leaves my body glowing. They say, be afraid. You're not like the others. Futuristic lover, different DNA. They don't understand you. This is talking about the Nephilim, the devil, the fallen angels, the angels that actually came down to heaven, came down from heaven, left their first estate, and basically... Uh, stole women from men and made them become their wives. They say, be afraid. You're not like the others. Futuristic lover, different DNA. They don't understand you. You're from a whole nother world, a different dimension. You open my eyes. Remember the Garden of Eden? The Lord, uh, the Lord, the devil said to Eve, God knows that when you take of this tree of knowledge of good and evil, your eyes will be open and you'll be like God. I'm ready to go. Lead me into the light. Kiss me. Infect me with your loving. This probably supports the theory of uh, the seed serpent theory. Something else was happening perhaps more to Eve than meets the eye. Uh, maybe there's a reason why Cain was conceived at the same time as Abel was. Two different fathers. That's what the, the seed theory is. Um, kiss me, infect me with your love, fill me with your poison, take me, want to be your victim, ready for abduction. Boy, you're an alien, you're touched so foreign, it's supernatural, extraterrestrial, you're so supersonic. Want to feel your power, stun me with your lasers. Your kiss is cosmic, every move is magic. You're from a whole nother world, a different dimension. You open my eyes, I'm ready to go, lead me into the light. The light of darkness. Kiss me, infect me with your loving, fill me with your poison, take me, want to be your victim. Boy, you're an alien, you're touched, so foreign, it's supernatural, it's super extraterrestrial. This is transcendental on another level. Boy, you're my lucky star. I want to walk on your wavelength and be there when you vibrate for you. I'll risk it all. Risk what? Risk life. You take of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, you will die. Boy, you're my lucky star. Madonna had a song called Lucky Star. Shot her to the top of the charts. Talking about the devil. Talking about Lucifer. Let's go to ACDC. This song is the first track from the single Back in Black. The song was written to commemorate the death of ACDC's former lead singer. The Bell. Heard throughout the song was created by John Bell founders in Love Road, 2,000 pounds of cast iron bronze, usually used in the 1980 Back in Black Tours, made as a replica of Denson Bell, which the band first attempted to record for the song. This plan was abandoned after causing too much disruption to pigeons. All right, so the bell includes an engraving of the ACDC logo and is branded with the title Hell's Bells. <clears throat> so let's just see what... Uh, uh, Hell's Bells. Oh, yeah. Okay. So this is another one bites the dust. I'm a rolling thunder, pouring rain. I'm coming on like a hurricane, white lightnings flashing across the sky. You're only young, but you're going to die. I won't take no prisoners. Again, talking about the tribulation. 
won't spare no lives. Nobody's putting up a fight. I got my bell. I'm going to take you to hell. I'm going to get you. Satan get you. Hell's bells. Yeah, hell's bells. You got me ringing. Oh, this is hell's bells, obviously. My temperature's high. Hell bells. I'll give you black sensations up and down your spine. If you're into evil, you're a friend of mine. See my white light flashing as I split the night. Because if good's on the left, then I'm sticking to the right. I won't take no prisoners, won't spare no lives. Put, nobody's putting up a fight. I got my bell, and I'm going to take you to hell. I'm going to get you. Satan, get you. Hell's bells, you got me ringing. Temperature's high. Hell bells, coming to get you, blah, blah, blah. All right. I didn't know that about the lyrics. I haven't listened to that song for a while. Um, so let's go to another one bites the dust. Lyrics genius. I like I like uh, going to this site for all this stuff. Let's read about this because remember, man was created from dust, right? When we ditch this body. This is not our body anymore. It is from the image of Adam. We have a new image, the second Adam who is from heaven. That is how, this is how we get our second, our new spiritual body. It's from heaven. Jesus Christ himself designed a spiritual body. We will not get, the body that we have today will go into the dust and it belongs to the earth. It's earthy. It's in the image of Adam. But we get a new body that's in the image of Jesus Christ, a heavenly body. Okay. Oh, let's go. Steve walks warily down the street with brim pulling way down low. Ain't no sound but the sound of his feet. Machine guns ready to go. Are you ready? Hey, are you ready for this? Again, talking about the tribulation. Are you hanging on the edge of your seat? Remember, we are seated in heavenly places. Out of the doorway, the bullets rip to the sound of the beat. Yay. Remember, Satan also approached Eve with this first word out of his mouth to her. Yay, did God really say? So you always see that. Ooh, yeah, all this stuff chanting in the songs. That is rebellion. Another one bites the dust. Another one bites the dust. And another one gone. Another one gone. Another one bites the dust. Yeah, and don't forget, the serpent eats the dust. That's his diet, dust. That's his curse, dust. So he wants to kill everyone. Another one bites the dust. Yeah, I'm going to get you too. Another one bites the dust. How do you think I'm going to get along without you when you're gone? You took me for everything that I had. You kicked me out of my own, out of the Garden of Eden. Are you happy? Are you satisfied? How long can you stand the heat? Out of the doorway, the bullets rip to the sound of the beat. Look out. Another one bites the dust. So killing people. People are dying during the tribulation. Why? They are food for the devil. The devil eats dust. One day he is going to starve in the lake of fire because no one will be killed anymore. Another one bites dust. Another one gone. Another one gone. Hey, oh, take it. Bite the dust. Hey, another one bites the dust. Hey, 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 hey. <clears throat> this is also a chant for uh, the devil. There are plenty of ways you can hurt a man and bring him to the ground. You could beat him. You could cheat him. You can treat him bad. Very similar to Beat It by Michael Jackson. And leave him when he's down. Yeah, but I'm ready. I'm ready for you. Standing on my own two feet out of the doorway. Bullets rip. Oh, yeah. Like, I'm telling you, it's all over the popular songs. <clears throat> Look at this one. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's just type in Beat It lyrics and see what this one's about Quincy Jones released as the third single interesting that is third along with the second single Billie Jean which is about Eve helped propel the album to the top of the charts so you got Thriller which is talking about the devil and the tribulation then you got Billie Jean the second song which is about Eve the third song is uh, beat it. Third song, along with the single, biggest selling album, Jackson stepped outside, created a rock track, highlighted with guitar by Eddie Van Halen, which he provided free of charge. Uh, let's see. So, Jackson should write a song like the next, My Sharona. 
All right. I wanted to write a song, a type of song that I would buy if I were to pick a rock song. That's how I approached it. Song about the economy of wanting to prove your toughness through fighting. This is what many organizations want to do. They want to fight their way through the tribulation. Knowing when to have the strength to back down from a fight. This is a highlight. Okay, let's just go into lyrics here. Let's go into the lyrics. See what this is. This should, to me, should tell me a little bit about tribulation. They told him, don't you ever come around here? Don't want to see your face. You better disappear. There's fire in their eyes. The words are really clear. So just beat it, beat it. Ooh, there's that chant again. Ooh, you'll see that. Ooh, yay. Um, What else is there? Hey, which, which is the, I think it's the fifth letter in the Hebrew alphabet. Hey, uh, so you want to be tough. Oh, wait, you better run. You better do what you can. Don't want to see no blood. Don't want to be a macho man. Don't be a macho man. You want to be tough. Better do what you can. Beat it. You want to be bad. Beat it, beat it. No one wants to be defeated. Showing how funky and strong is your fight. Doesn't matter who's wrong or right. Meaning, it doesn't matter if you think you're right. It doesn't matter if you think you're wrong. You're still going to get killed in the tribulation. They're out to get you. Better leave all you can, as in get raptured up. Before this happens, don't want to be a boy. You want to be a man. You want to stay alive. Better do what you can. So just beat it. You have to show them you're really not scared. You're playing with your life. This ain't no truth or dare. They'll kick you. They'll beat you. They'll tell you it's fair. So beat it. You want to be bad. Beat it. Beat it. Showing how funky and strong. Let's go down chorus. Doesn't matter. So not too deep, but gives you an idea of what um the tribulation is like so we also read another one bites the dust let's go to tom petty's free fallen i have a feeling this is about the fall of satan himself i want to glide down over mulholland i want to write her name in the sky i'm gonna free fall out into nothing gonna leave this world for a while now i'm free fallen so this could be when the devil gets carried away into the bottomless pit for a thousand years, falling, falling, falling until his season is over. And then he comes out. Um, I believe he's released by Michael to gather Gog and Magog and be able to come against Jesus Christ, who is the king on earth in Jerusalem. And they surround the nation of Israel and Jerusalem and try to attack it. And then fire comes down from heaven, destroys all the evil. Going to leave this world for a while. Now I'm free fallen. Yeah, I'm free fallen, free fallen. Yeah, I'm free fallen, fallen. <laughs> that that can't be all in the song. It's got to be more lyrics. I thought there was more lyrics. Uh, free fallen, free fallen. Post chorus. Oh, yeah, she's a good girl. <laughs> I was like, that can't be it. She's a good girl, loves her mama, loves Jesus and America, too. She's a good girl, crazy about Elvis, loves horses and her boyfriend, too. It's a long day living, Rosita. There's a free way running through the yard, and I'm a bad boy because I don't even miss her. Talking about Eve. Satan seduced her. I'm a bad boy for breaking her heart, and I'm free Free fallen, yeah, I'm free fallen. And the vampires walking through the valley move west to Venture Boulevard, and all the bad boys standing in the shadows, and the good girls are home with broken hearts. Talking about fallen angels, uh, grabbing women and making them their wives. That's Tom Petty song. So, anyways, I can go, I can go on and on and on. Uh, almost every popular song is like that out there. Hopefully you got something out of this. If you like this kind of thing where I talk about some of your favorite songs, some of the songs that I grew up in on, listening to it over and over, trying to memorize, trying to play the air guitar, all this kind of stuff. All the songs are riddled with those four categories that I talked about. Let me see if it's still here or if it's erased. Garden of Eden, fall from heaven, angels, rebellion from God, and the dead. Again, if you were to write this type, if you're right, write lyrics and you use these four categories, you're going to be successful. I'm not trying to tell you how to be successful, 
but this is what rises through the charts. If you talk about wholesome traits, qualities, it's not going to make it. It's not going to make it. Why? Because of the principalities, the rulers, powers of the air. They are in charge right now of this planet. And one day Jesus Christ is coming back to take control of the earth. He has to restore heaven as well. This is why we are getting seats in heaven. If you accept Jesus Christ today and believe that he is the son of God, you get a seat in heaven. You are sealed with the Holy Spirit and you will be raptured one day so that you don't have to go through the tribulation. That's what the devil wants you to think, that you have to go through the tribulation. Why? Because you feed him. The more people that die in the tribulation, the more he gets fed. He's going to get a steady diet of dust. You got to understand that concept. When we die, we turn to dust. That feeds the devil. That's serpent food. Anyways, hopefully you got something out of this. Feel free to subscribe. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. Let me know where you're watching this video from, etc., etc. See you later. Bye for now.